This is, no, this is part of the discipline of the craft is actually managing a relationship with an agent. So is your agent manager behind 10 you? 10% of, of a Broadway salary um, is, is, you know, you're on a 15 month contract or whatever and you're paying 10% of that. Um, for, so, so you could waste, you could lose a lot of sleep thinking about <laughs> is that value for your for your money but you don't really have a lot of choice and what I do is I just demand a lot of, 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 of the relationship I just demand everything I can um, uh, it cost me a lot tax wise to be there uh, because I got bad advice about that um, I mean what what country you declared your income in well I had to declare de you declare the income in both countries but you get what's called a foreign tax credit uh, in Canada you don't pay tax on the same money earned twice but uh, because I was an employee, I was very badly advised by my accountant in Canada. Uh, who, uh, anyway, I ended up that I was deemed an employee in Canada, so I could not discount. Uh, I could not because deduct my age. Because your was for 15 months, you stopped being self-employed. You I was, I was not allowed to be self-employed. And now I have to say, for my colleagues, and my Canadian colleagues, it wasn't the same. So I just got bad advice. I am now. Not appealing it, but I'm trying to refile. But anyway, I, I lost a lot of money because I. We just got to survive. I, I I think it's really hard for uh, theater artists uh, paying agents on a theater salary. But 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 a lot of if you want to talk about the agent relationship, it is it used to be that <clears throat> on I think eight hundred dollars or less, which was pretty much the Tarragon salary, you didn't pay a commission. And then there was that delightful time when agents said, um, oh, no, we're going to take 10% of that. And you go, are you really? Are you really? Um, I think it's really important for actors to know that the actor-agent relationship is different in Canada than it is in the US. Um, that in Canada, they are franchised differently. So that how does it work, Robert? They get to make their own rules more. In other words, uh, you can bargain as a union. SAG and AAEA can bargain differently with the unions. For instance, in the, um, you know that, that, that an agent's not allowed to take anything from scale in the US? In Canada, really? they can deduct on a scale. In the States, it's called scale plus 10. Right. And I think that is negotiated with the unions right. by SAG that you can never give. In Canada, your agent can take 10% of scale. I personally don't think that should be allowed, but it is allowed. Yeah. Yeah. That's an important one. This, this public service announcement was provided to you <laughs> by Fiona Reed. Thank you. <laughs> Is that being jaded or just well informed? You tell no, me. No, it's having your eyes open. You're trying to fi survive financially, makes right? my right eye go like this. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so so it's it's um, it's important to know that, and uh, so we don't have the same kind of collective leverage with agents. Right.